Top interview questions and answer for Windows Server 2012. Best questions as per latest interviews. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like the video. Please like the video and do subscribe the channel for more video like that. Thanks a lot for subscribe the channel. 1. Explain what is Windows Server? Windows Server is a series of server operating system developed by Microsoft Corporation. 2. Explain in Windows DNS Server what is primary, secondary, and stub zone? In Windows DNS Server, Primary zone, in this, the file is saved as normal text file with file name, .dns. Secondary zone, it maintains a read-only copy of zone database on another DNS server. Also, it acts as a backup server to the primary server by providing fault tolerance and load balancing. Stub zone, it consists of a copy of name server and SOA records which is used for reducing the DNS search orders. 3. Explain what does IntelliMirror do? IntelliMirror helps to reconcile desktop settings, applications, and stored files for users especially for those users who move between workstations or those who works offline. 4. In the case when MSI file is not available, how you can install an app? To add the application using the software installer.zap text file can be used rather than the Windows installer. 5. Explain how you can set up remote installation procedure without giving access to user. To do that, you have to go to Panamia User Configuration A Windows Settings or Remote Installation Services A Choice Options. 6. What does it mean by tattooing the registry? Tattooing the registry means user can modify and view user preference that are not stored in the maintained portions of the registry. Even if the group policy is changed or removed, the user preference will still persist in the registry. 7. Mention how many types of queries DNS does. The types of queries DNS does are Iterative Query Recursive Query 8. Explain what is the primary function of the domain controller. Primary function of the domain controller is to validate users to the networks, it also provide a catalog of Active Directory objects. 9. What information is required when TCP slash IP is configured on Windows Server? To configure a TCP slash PI client for an IPv4 client, you have to provide the IP address and the subnet mask. 10. Explain what does it mean caching only server in terms of DNS? The caching only DNS server provides information related to queries based on the data it contains in its DNS cache. 11. Explain what is the way to configure the DHCP server such that it allocates the same IP address to certain devices each time the address is removed. To configure the DHCP server, you can create a reservation for the device. To create a reservation, you must know the MAC hardware address of the device. To determine the MAC address for a network device you can use the IP protocol configuration or NBS TAT command line utilities. 12. Explain what is LDAP. To look up for the information from the server, email, and another program follows or uses the internet protocol. This protocol is referred as 13. Explain what is sysvol folder? It is a set of files and folders that is stored on the local hard disk of each domain controller in a domain and are replicated by the FRS, File Replication Service. These files contain group or user policy information. 14. Explain what is the difference between a thread and a computer process. Computer process, in computing, 
A process is an instance of a computer program that is executed sequentially by a computer system which can run several computer programs concurrently. Thread A thread is a several executable program that work together as a single process. For instance, one thread might send an error message to the user, another might handle error signals while the third thread might be executing the original action. 15. Explain what is Inode. Inode holds the metadata of files, Inode is a pointer to a block on the disk, and it is unique. In simple words, it is a unique number allocated to a file in Unix-like OS. Sixteen. Explain what is RAID in Windows Server. For storing same data at a different place RAID or redundant array of independent disk strategy is used. It is a strategy for building fault tolerance and increase the storage capacity. On separate drives it allows you to combine one or more volumes so that they are accessed by a single drive letter. 17. Explain what is the purpose of deploying local DNS servers. A local DNS server provides the local mapping of fully qualified domain names to IP addresses. To resolve remote requests related to the domain's names on your network, local DNS servers can provide record information to remote DNS servers. 18. To check TCP slash IP configurations and IP connectivity, what are the two command line utilities that can be used? IP protocol configuration, to check the computer's IP configuration, command IP protocol configuration can be used and also it can be used to renew the client's IP address if it is provided by a DHCP server. Ping, to check the connection between the local computer and any of the other computer device on the network ping command is used. 19. Explain if it is possible to connect Active Directory to other third-party directory services. Yes. You can connect other vendors' directory services with Microsoft version. By using DIRXML or LDAP to connect to other directories. 20. Explain where is the AD database is held. AD database is saved in percent system root percent slash NTDS. Files that controls the AD structure are NTDS.dit EDB.log res1.log res2.log n.check 21. Explain what is the major difference between NTFS, New Technology File System, or FAT, File Allocation Table, on a local server. For local users FAT, File Allocation Table, and FAT32 provide security, while NTFS, New Technology File System, provide security for domain users as well as local users. NTFS provides file level security which is not possible through FAT32. 22. Mention what Windows Server 2008 service is used to install client operating system over the network. WDE, Windows Deployment Services, allows you to install client and server operating systems over the network to any computer with a PXE-enabled network interface. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe the channel for more video like and also you can watch last video for many topics.